Hey everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here, and welcome back to our Warhammer 2 Vortex campaign as Grand Hirofant Kotev! Um, he's actually, he's not down here. He's, uh, he's way up here. Uh, in a boat! <laughs> so, uh, there he is. And what are we doing this campaign, or this episode? What are we doing right now? Uh, well, we got a couple armies up here that are, uh, building up in strength. In fact... Uh, let's see. They're both 20 out of 20, are they? Yeah, they are 20 out of 20. Okay. So we don't need to do any recruitment here. We got Vashnar. This is like, this is a little rogue army, uh, but it's full of chosen with anti-large and then a good amount of cavalry and a dragon. And these armies are really not strong enough to take care of that. And I'd like to declare war on it, but not before we have walls in our minor settlements. So this is the capital. And it has walls. You can tell by the little ramparts that go along the uh, the settlement title there. And then these are minor settlements, and they don't have walls. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to move in there. And let's see. Quark. Uh, we're one turn away there. Uh, spite Reach. Okay, we're start, we will start building walls there. I'd like to get uh, this upgraded. Uh, we're missing population, though. We'll, we'll get that uh, next turn. Next turn. And then uh, we have an agent here. Uh, let's see. We're going to start heading over towards Ulthwan. This is where we were going. Uh, let's see. You know, I think we'll we'll come this way and we'll pick this up. This little uh, bit of treasure here. Um, the Vampire Coast DLC released recently. And so when we pick these up, we may have to fight battles and stuff with them now. And then you get a bigger reward. So I don't know if that transfers into this campaign. It seems like it transferred into my Ungrim Iron Fist campaign. Uh, so we'll just see what happens. And uh, then this guy's got a skill point. You're a Tomb King. Uh, looks like we're going Imperishable down to Renowned and Feared. And what are you? You are also a Tomb King. Lemizash. Lemizash makes Ushabti better. But I'm going to put this point into the Winds of Magic Power Reserve. Because uh, the more magic we can cast, the better our poor units do. We have another skill point here. I guess we'll go Canopic Jars with our Necrotect. Any more? Oh, yes. It never ends. Uh, we'll put this point in the Conqueror on our Tomb Prince. Okay. Uh, one thing we can do here to level up our Tomb Prince a little bit faster. We have two of them. Level 11 and level 9. Let's, uh... 855. Let's assault units on this guy. And that's excellent. Okay, then we have some armies down here moving in towards uh, Teclis' territory. So this guy looks like he can lay siege uh, straight away. Oh, awesome. Um, I used up too much movement. Okay, so we'll just... We'll go there. Whatever. There, these two armies. Uh, next turn, we'll just blow through the gates here and raise Chotek to the ground. King of greatest dynasty. Yeah. Okay. Do nothing. We'll Aha! Here. This is back where we started the episode. I think we got a few armies down here, and we are at war with Order of the Lore Masters. So I think what we need to do. Done. Is we need to replenish these forces a little bit. We're gonna go ahead though. We'll lay an ambush there. We'll move up to here. And then move up to there. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to attack this settlement or not. But if we do attack it, we're going to need missile units to get through those defenses. So let's go ahead and let's recruit some missile units. Uh, now, another thing we can do is we can look in here for greatness comes a Tomb Prince. And next turn, I guess, we can try to assault units here and whittle away like one of these armies or something. But we can't get there right now. So that'll have to wait. Uh, let's bring this guy over this way. I'm not sure if we were just going to put him here or what we were going to do with him. And then we are researching 
weapon strength and armor for the Hekara warriors and chariots. So that's that's fine. And then diplomacy wise, we're only at war with Teclas. Okay, that's the only faction we're at war with. Uh, we do want to go in and start hassling Lothern because Lothern and Avalorn um, are roughly equal in strength. Lothern is a little bit stronger overall. Uh, but Avalorn is kind of allied with us defensively. And Lothern is one of the factions that we need to destroy for a domination victory. It says destroy the following factions. Lothern is in there. So is Hexwaddle, which we have an alliance with Hexwaddle too. But right now, uh, we can focus on and think about killing Lothern. What does this do? Movie viewer? What the heck is this? What? What is all this? What, what the heck is this thing? I've never looked at this. All right, whatever. I don't need to watch any movies. <laughs> is that there on any of the other campaigns? I've never noticed that button. It's like being completely invisible to me. Okay, so we got um, some chaos armies there because Lothern is doing a ritual. This is a Warhammer 2 Vortex campaign, even though the Tomb Kings do not partake in the Vortex. The other factions do. Um, so you still have all those rogue chaos armies and stuff that pop in and hassle the uh, the AI or whichever faction is uh, trying to complete a ritual. Harganeth, uh, we're currently at peace with. We were at war with them for quite a while. And they're at war with Lothern and possibly possibly um, Avalorn as well. So we may find ourselves eventually at war with Harganeth again. Okay, we got some Clan Pestilens moving in to uh, attack Hexwaddle or take territory from them. And Clan Rictus is our ally. And they got quite a few armies. They, they got a pretty good showing of strength. Although most of their stuff is all the way back here, um, like kind of deep in their territory. I wish they would move out and go uh, throw that might at Lothern or maybe even Hexwaddle would be, would be okay with me. And the, uh, the Corda Labaris, somewhat friendly with us uh, at war with Hexwaddle. It would be nice if they kind of uh, took territory from Hexwaddle and limited Hexwaddle's growth because Hexwaddle is a faction that we need to destroy. And this guy wants an alliance. Get out of here. Don't need that. We've already got enough allies this campaign. And then these are the Chaos factions that want to go and attack Lother. There you go. Awesome. They just completely raised one of their settlements. Uh, let's do this for the uh, increased winds of magic. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, let's pop. Let's pop down here real fast. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Like I don't want to fight this. I don't know what all what all they've got in that army yet, though. My will be done. Attend your king, slaves. Like even if we laid siege right now, we just my glory. Futile. Oh boy. What kind of garrison is this? Find my heart. I'm kind of thinking if we laid siege, blocked the garrison, Misguided. and then tried to wipe out Ethanor, who's in an encampment stance but not currently recruiting. King of all I survey, priest king. We just, we just need like an extra bit of movement to be able to uh, attack him, though. Find my harem. Who? Legions rise. Bunch of a uh, bunch of spearmen, and then the uh, the bolt throwers. Power and life. So I think we would want to use this force. Um. 
shatter their bones. To yeah, that's for That's not very good. That is not very good at all. We might be able to do this. Your advice. And then um I think this aren't ooh, they're both kind of depleted. Ouch. Can we get up there? Can we... Do we have the movement? Oh, we scared him off. Scared him off. Okay. Uh, is this enough to take the, the settlement right now? Unwise. You know what? It might be. Address me as your highness. Obey me. Who's uh, who's laying siege? Attack and destroy. Mm. Legions withdraw. Okay, we're gonna retreat. This is our casket of souls. Do we get all three armies? We have all three armies. Look at that. <laughs> um, do I want to fight this? Ah, screw it. Oh, that's painful. Did we keep our casket of souls, though? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's just burn it to the ground. Oh, excellent. Greatness comes. Moving. My will be done. You know what? I'm happy with that. And then, uh, well, I don't know where he's going to go, but I don't think he's going to attack us here. Uh, okay, I have to do Katet before I can go get the little skill point pop-up. Uh, let's do better in campaign. All right, sure, whatever. Would have preferred favorable wins. That's the one that gives you the increased uh, campaign movement range, but didn't get it. So, whatever. Uh, attend me. They're still uh, complaining about these guys. Oh, yeah, okay. Fire on them. Let's move in here. Mehikara will be mine. Make way. Uh, let's see. Let's. Uh... Can I just auto resolve this and not lose like all my stuff? Take it on. Uh, how does it feel, Techless? How does it feel? We're going to put our point into this uh, damage ability. Damage spell. And then, so where is Techless's next settlement? I thought he had... There we go. Chakwa. So if we can get down into here and take that. And then converge those armies down here. Uh, or we might be better off throwing them into the boats. And sending them up here to help fight Lothern. Right, because those are those are strong armies. This is like all of our Tomb Guard, our big units, the Sepulchral Stalkers, uh, Tomb Scorpions, Kemri, and War Sphinx. And then we have the Necro Sphinx and all that stuff. And then these guys down here, like these guys suck. Oh, we also want to upgrade this settlement. So that and the walls, very good. Let's look for the easy upgrades. Oh, yeah, over here. Let's do this. Of course. Now we're down to 1,800. Probably not enough to do anything else in here that's going to matter. Can we do a money building? No. Okay, we could do uh, pottery over here or wine. And the Black Pillar doesn't have anything special. So let's see. What would this give us? Okay. That's going to bolster our trade slightly. We've already got the money building. Uh, okay. Let's... Uh, do we have the money building in here? We do not. We do not have the money building in here. Do we already have wine? We are exporting wine. So we already have wine. You know, do I care about exporting more wine? Sure. Why not? Do I want to trade with anybody? The court of the Baras. At war with our our ally, our defensive ally. 
We could get 62 per... Why is their, like, income from trading just so horrendous? Uh, let's keep this guy moving this way. Very good. Deal butter to be made of my Clan Pestilence barreling down on the lizards and uh Cordelibara. So between these two AI factions, Ghoul Evek is not looking so good, but he does have a um, nice strong army, so Okay, quit telling me that I need to move these guys. I've already I've already ignored that notification like twice. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Lothern runs off, turns tail and skedaddles. Aethanor is heading that way, okay? So I guess maybe they're gonna try to attack the Corps de Labaris. I think they're at war. Or are they allies? I can't remember. Okay. So Hexwaddle moves out of the settlement, but does not attack the army. So what's Clan Pestilence going to do? Are they going to um, push into Hexwaddle's territory? Are they going to attack him or what? Ooh. Wow. It wiped out two stacks of uh, Skaven, although the one stack looked like it was uh, full of slaves and stuff like that. Clan Rictus is laying siege. Uh, Vols Anvil, I think, that, that little um, capital down here on this peninsula. Very good thinking by the AI to just sit in the uh, reef where they take attrition. <laughs> very, very good thinking. Oh, this guy's taking attrition. Okay, cool. Power of Henry. I serve King and yeah, first up. Awesome, we uh, we failed again there. That's neat. Dargoth, we're gonna upgrade this. And then now we have like no money. Alright, Katep. Uh let's see. We we kinda wanna come down this way, but let's make sure Lothern's not currently just sitting there with an army. They're not. So we'll, uh, let's go pick this up. Better in battle. Ooh, physical resist. Is that for the whole army? It does. Or it is. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, all right. So I guess that way is the um, path that we want to take. What is this guy? Tomb Prince? I'm gonna put it in the jars. Anybody else? Anybody else got a little uh, skill point we can spend? Increased mobility. Uh, Biorana's time warp. Biorana's time warp. That's good because it increases uh, melee attack and our skeletons um, have pretty bad stats in combat so you can use that to kind of bring them uh, up to speed with some of the other units now let's see here do we want to
Uh, this army, you know what? We need to take a turn or two and just replenish. So we'll go ahead and just get that stance. This army is already mostly full. Let's uh, let's hop in here. Oh, look. This is uh, from the Vampire Coast DLC. Now, sometimes when you pick these up, you may have to fight a battle. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll get it. You know what, we're gonna uh, take the replenishment. 3,000, cool. Let's see if we can get back up onto land. Okay, next turn. We will work on replenishing. We'll put this point into Master Charioteers because that does increase the um, the charge and melee and all that stuff of our Cimmerian War Sphinx. Jumping up here. Ignore that. Aha. Well, we know what we need to do, right? We need to come over here and attack the uh, Great Turtle Isles. be done. But we need to replenish along the way. Make way. Stand sentinel. Address me as your highness. Are you the guy that's got the chariot skills? No, not. Somebody down here. I've been putting points in the chariot stuff. Alright, that looks good. It must it must be um Rahotep. Yep, there it is. Alright, fine. Uh this uh hero, agent, continues to go that way. We're gonna embed him in one of those armies. Come up here to Mr. Lamise Ash. Can't do anything with you right now. Yeah, we don't need those. And let's look for meaningful buildings to upgrade, like that one. And then can we do walls or anything way down here? We cannot. Tyrion shows up. <laughs> okay. I wonder what the uh, legendary lord bonus is for defeating Tyrion in battle. And I wonder if Katep has enough um, of a strong or strong enough army to do so. Of course, uh, Avalorn or Harganeth may go down and attack Tyrion, but it seems unlikely. Yeah. Another settlement of Lothern Falls to one of our allies. Probably our um, our strongest ally. Clan Rictus has a lot of territory. A lot of territory. They're gonna move out of the uh, out of the what? Where'd they go? What happened to that army? <laughs> They disappeared. You cannot ambush while you're in the water, so I don't know what happened to them. And these guys are going to chase Lothern. Oh my goodness. Lothern is just taking a beating right now. Okay, let's get our next dynasty going here. What do we want? Charge bonus or uh, melee attack, melee defense? I think we'll go farther for us than the charge bonus will. Okay, 
All right, what can this guy do? Damage building. What kind of garrison do they got here? Yeah. Very well. Oh boy. It's kind of questionable, isn't it? Whether or not we can defeat Tyrion. Hmm. It's also questionable whether or not we can get there on this turn. Let's try to wound this noble. Wow. Successful. Didn't expect that. Cool. Uh, we'll put that there. Woundmaker. Now, what kind of stuff do we have? Ward save. Ward save. Regeneration. Potion of toughness. Yeah, this guy's not very good. And another question is... Understood. Does Tyrion... He's on a horsey. Oh, can we win this battle? Spearmen, archers, reavers. For the mortuary cult. Um... Well, we're going to land. We don't have the movement to attack this turn uh, regardless. So as long as they don't come flying out of here with a full stack in Force March, which, you know, I wouldn't put it past the AI to have that up its sleeve. But as long as that doesn't happen, we may be okay. Okay, looking for meaningful upgrades with our buildings in here. If we do this, we can get more Tomb Guard. So I think that's what we want. We want more Tomb Guard. My will be done. We need to get Lamizish out of here at some Your point. All right, Agatep and Netherkade. So I guess we want to use this road that goes this way. A living march. These guys have terrible movement ranges, it feels like. Like, how can they only move that far? Seems insane. Oh, we lost the uh, carrion swarm. Okay. Uh, let's swing up that way. No, 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 no. We still have these guys, right? Did I move them? What? No, I did not move them, did I? Yeah, we got movement with you. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go to here. Find my we got this guy's chasing us. The king moves. Rises from the sands. Okay. But we are going to get down here into Teclis' territory. And if we can... Take it away from him or burn it to the ground and show him what for. Let's get a pile of archers. Ah, they wounded our Lich Priest. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. And Lotharn, like, did nothing. They didn't bother to attack or anything. So. You know, maybe we'll just sidestep Tyrion, not even worry about him, and just head south and go through the, uh, the defensive citadel. 
because I mean Terry Terry's got his army he's in the settlement he's you know he's kind of strong it's gonna be a hard battle to defeat him but we could just ignore him and let him fiddle about with whatever he's gonna do because with an army that's not a full stack and unable to recruit he's not gonna pose as much of a threat and if he does decide to hop in the water and head over towards our shores, we got those two armies up north that we could bring south and go after him or possibly even just ask uh, Clan Rictus to attack him. So, mm, military access with them, huh? Okay. Earth are these guys and why are they here? Oh, Hexwaddle! <laughs> Hexwaddle's doing a ritual, so. Oh my goodness. Alright, so they wounded us down south. That sucks, but uh, whatever. And Queen Kalita, High Queen Kalita, Court of Lavaris, they've come in and they've claimed this. Don't know what happened to that Teclas settlement. They've got quite a bit of territory down here. I bet you they have all this stuff too. Oh my goodness. Does she start down here in uh, the Vortex campaign? Because I know in Mortal Empire, she's like way over in the bottom right corner of the map. But she seems like she got here awfully quick. So I think she starts down here in uh, the Vortex campaign. Anyways, not really that, that important. Okay, we just need to go all the way. Arise, legions. Stride to greatness. Okay, who's this? Kilana? What kind of garrison do you have? I kind of feel like we need to bring some pressure that way. Yeah? Legions move. We never tire. So we're just going to force march. Get over here as quickly as we can. March. And try to kill her off before she uh, escapes. Probably should think about building walls. We'd have to demolish this. Uh, we'll build the walls up here in the Wellsprings of Eternity. This is my endeavor. Okay. Defend your king, slaves. My dynasty reigns supreme. My faith in you wanes. Attend your king, slaves. Submit to your king. Awake the Necro Sphinx. Oh, up here. Uh, so I guess we'll get rid of the Carrion Swarm and put this guy in over here. Yay! And he replenishes troops, so that's kind of neat. We have a skill point. Not to be trusted. Uh, missile resist would be nice when facing off against the high elves, but I think we're going to pick. Affects enemies in range. A gigantic hex. I will obey. That seems like it fits the bill pretty good here. Okay. How far can Katep move? Whoa, is this cut off? It is cut off. I didn't know that. So the Unicorn Gate has a gigantic garrison. Understood. Oh my goodness. I just, I don't know. Like realistically, what are our chances of success see? here? Because I'm thinking that these units are just going to ding the crap out of us. Arise. We have the Bone Giant. Very well. Oh, boy. This is a tough, uh, a tough choice here to decide whether I want to fight this or not. 
Understood. So it's basically 11 and uh, 7. So like 18. For the mortuary cult. And we got a minus 50% chance right here to wound. So it's not even going to let us attempt that. So what we'll do is we'll come up here and see if they have any army stacks back there. They don't. Mm. Alright, we... Whoa! I'm not at war with Lothar. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's something to think about, too. Uh, let's see. Hexwaddle is not at war with Lothern either. Clan Rictus is. So, if we ask Hex Hexwaddle to join in, they may decline, and then that breaks our alliance. So, all right, let's do it. Let's declare war. Oh, Hexwaddle is a defensive alliance, so they're not going to get um, asked, and Clan Rictus is already at war, so, okay, fine. But now we got two new factions at war with us. Who were they? At your service. Vegans, Errantry, and Pirates of Sartosa. I'm not worried about that. They're kind of far away. Oh boy, here we go. It's even odds. All right, Kotep, let's see what you got, buddy. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Uh, we'll use our Bone Giant and the Hero Titan and try to knock out their mage. We'll use our missiles, our skeleton archers, and try to whittle away the uh, the phoenix guard things, the flame spire phoenix, as quickly as possible. If we can knock out both of those, uh, then maybe we're in good shape. We need to do something about the bolt thrower, and maybe maybe Katep and our two you know our two caskets could do that, or maybe just Katep, because uh, the bolt thrower is going to be a, a big problem. We do have this, moderate magical damage. Uh, it takes a minute to be able to reuse. We can damage, resist on Kotep of 22%. Uh, that lasts 57 seconds. Ooh. And you can target self or ally. So I think we wanna do this, do this. We have no idea where Tyrion is. That's not showing us. Okay. Good. What's this guy got? Is this a potion of toughness? It is. That's excellent. And then this is area of effect or enemy or what? Weak versus a single combatant. So we want to use this on a unit. Physical resist. Yeah, okay. And then Katep has spells too, but we didn't really put any points in there. All right. Okay, where is the uh, the bolt thrower? Good. We gotta get rid of all this stuff. What is our bone giant shooting? Let's shoot Tyrion. Okay, uh, we're gonna turn these guys like so. Like so. Okay. Okay, that stuff's taking a ton of damage. Katep is kind of okay here in the center. Yeah, okay, we're gonna buff Katep. We're getting mixed in pretty heavy with Tyrion. Okay, you know what? They're happy. They're content to shoot those things. That's fine with me. Okay, some of their stuff's breaking. Let's shoot that back there. That's not what I wanted to target with that, but it's okay. 
What is this? Oh, a casket of souls. Get back. Okay, good. Uh, what is this? That's a uh, scorpion. Let's get in there. What, what is this one doing way over there by itself? That's not good. Uh, let's shoot that. Shoot that. Um, oh, come on. Get that vortex out. Katet, please get the vortex out. Use your potion. Debuff uh, Tyrion. Let's get in here. Get on that stuff, please. I don't know if those magic missiles are going to work. You know what? I think we may do this. I think we might have it. What is our tomb scorpion doing way back here? Dumbbolt thrower. Uh, no, Katep is almost dead. Oh my gosh, Katep. Save yourself, buddy. Run faster than that, Katep. Please run faster than that. Please, no, save Katep. Save Katep. Don't let Katep die. Get the bone giant in there. Come on, Katep. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Katep lives. He lives. Okay. We need to get on um, Tyrion. But not with this guy. Okay, good. I think we're going to win. I think we're going to get it. Uh, I could really do better with the archers. Yes! Oh my god, that was so close with Katep. That was like... Like just the tiniest sliver of health. And he had Tyrion on him of all legendary lords, so... Uh, Katap almost went down. Whew, that was close. That was very close. Uh, all in all, not bad. This, this unit got zero kills. That's sad. Even in death, we yeah, we're, we'll just raise it. I care nothing about any of this territory because Tor Anlik is held by Avalorn and I'm happy to just let Avalorn take all of Ulthalon. Uh, we'll get this guy the uh, Opal Amulet for the damage resist. Find my heart. Um. Address me as your highness. This will allow us to get an extra Screaming Skull catapult, but by golly, is it expensive or what? So will this one. Uh, 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 uh. Walls. Uh, let's look down over... I guess it would be here. Hey, okay, so we can't build the walls there quite yet. Let's go way back up here. And we'll go ahead and uh, spend this, I guess, and we'll get that catapult when we can. Forget about all that. Everybody has moved except for our two garrison lords. This guy's wounded.
All right. Now let's see what happens here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to look at um, what we get when we defeated Tyrion. I totally just didn't look. Or did we not get anything at all? Uh, they uh, managed the block army on Katep, so chances are we'll just go into the replenishment stance where he sits. We're not going to be able to move very far with him. Now, this is a uh, pretty strong army they got here. Looks like they're going to settle that settlement, though. Harganatha has claimed another minor settlement. Okay, Clan Pestilence laying siege. Not a whole lot of action out of them. And looks like they're going to head over towards Ulthuan, Clan Rictus. And that's a pretty strong army. It's full of Storm Vermin and some of their higher tier missile units. Okay, Corda Labaras. Probably. Did Teclas claim new territory? Oh, they're at war with each other. Okay. Uh, the Order of the Lore Masters has declared war on the Court of the Baros. They were previously somewhat friendly with each other. So... Um, that's going to work in our favor, because the Court of the Baros likes us. And now hates Teclas. So, yay. Okay, block army up there. whoop de do. Upset. Upset. Uh, I don't want this guy to get any stronger. It would be an open field battle. And we are somewhat depleted with our units. So let's see. Submit to your king. Find my harm. I think we could swing it. Uh, the way we do it is we just merge everything that can be merged. Land of the dead. Priest king of greatest dynasty. I deem it. Fire on them. Kill yeah, I think we're going to be able to do this. Now, we want to do this uh, this turn. Pretty much right now. Address me as your highness. Uh, because if we don't... Land of the dead. This is a... Is this a port? No, it's not a port. They can't leave. <laughs> okay, I, I thought it was a port they settlement. And I was going to say them. that they'll just, they'll just uh, leave. But now they can't because they're locked in place. My so... Will. Be done. Uh, let's just see what this looks like. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. To battle for Go the battle creator. for the creator. Ah. Okay, we should be able to do uh, pretty good here. Of course, it does depend a little bit where our reinforcements show up from. And they are both behind us. Oh, I hate this map. This is one of my least favorite maps. Okay, but we'll put that there. <laughs> yeah, that can go there. Okay, so we'll put this unit of spears, like, over here, and they'll just kind of protect that flank. We got the spearmen, or swordsmen, to absorb the charge, and then the counter charge there. You know, we'll put a couple of missile units here. Oh, then what do we do with these guys? Just like, like this. And put our lord out front. Curse them all. Curse them all, archers. Shoot them. We got some abilities, not that many. Oh, I hate those um, bolt throwers. There's so much damage. 
Okay, these guys just coming this way, please. Just please shoot those. all that stuff. Uh, no, keep shooting that over there. Three units of Skelly Warriors should be able to handle the chariot just fine. Oh, those things got obliterated. Yay. And of course, lots of our units are uh, dying very quickly. Shoot that. Shoot the phoenix. Shoot the phoenix. Get in behind these guys. Okay, we got our chariots are now coming in over here. We get on the archers with those chariots. Start bringing this stuff this way. Let's see, where can we aim this? Just right into the spears right there. that stuff. They're chasing that. Let's start uh, falling in on the Lothern Sea Guard here. Get on this stuff. That thing's almost dead. These guys are like all in here. Yeah. Let's get on the Swordmasters. Bring our Shabti up. We are definitely not trying to minimize casualties here. There's really no point in it. Chariot. Let's get on the Eagle Claw. Uh, let's get on these Lothern Sea Guard over there. Should take care of them. Okay, that stuff's broken. Let's shoot Kilana. Okay, all that stuff broke. Everything's breaking. We got more stuff coming in here. Come over this way. Oh, our lord's looking. Now let's bring them up this way. They're about to lose everything. These kinds of battles are sometimes kind of fun because you just don't have to think too much. And just kind of enjoy the carnage. Get on the bolt door. Get that thing there. Swordmasters are returning. These silver helms, yep. There we go. That's the last of their leadership, so that should be the battle. There we go. And so what do we lose? We lose like some skeleton archers, some skeleton swordsmen. Nothing, nothing that's a big deal. And what does uh, Teclas lose? He loses a productive city that he was apparently able to recruit nice units out of. Victory so some archers, like no big deal. And we got 2,000. Even in death, we serve our one. Oh, ward save. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who's she just got the red stuff? Dynasty. And Star Sentinel, Land of the Dead, Tomb King of Mehikara. Okay, this guy cannot uh, recruit or replenish, but this army can. Address me as your highness. Look in this one. Uh, what do we need? What kind of a? Uh... Garrison, are we looking at here? Find my harem. Let's get some carrion in this army, and they can assault the uh, the bolt throwers that are back in the settlement when they come on the field. And then uh, we got some skill points to spend here. Yes, yes. Ig you and your ignorant. 
I love the way they say ignorant too. It cracks me up. Ignorant. Okay, going up here to Katep, which who, who cannot move barely at all. So, so there we go. Very good. Replenish. He needs to get his health back. Uh, nope. Do not challenge me. We are their nightmares. Successful. Specialist to decrease cost. Okay, let's see. Can we do any walls in here? No, we cannot. We cannot do walls. But we can do that. And only gives us a little bit of trade income and some growth. It's not really all that spectacular. Anywhere else where we can build... Oh, what can we do over here? Uh, but anywhere else where we can build walls? Oh, okay. So, yeah, you know what? We want to use, like... We, we need a big, um, a big honeypot of money so that we can get these buildings and get some of these better units. And like Katep's army or these armies that are way down south. That's what we need. Uh, for now, we'll spend this in here. No, we won't. It's not worth it. Okay, Pentu. Move him ahead. Didn't I already say I didn't care about his movement? I thought I did. Okay, so what we really need is we need to sack something that's going to give us, like, a lot of money. But when you sack with the Tomb King, you get, like, no money. You don't get very much. And I suppose it's balanced, you know, around the fact that they don't have any uh, upkeep for their armies in the first place. So it is kind of fair. It just sucks. Okay, so the Warband of the Serpent has been destroyed. That is the Chaos faction that was attacking Maz the Mundi. So they've been they've been dealt with, and there's no more threat for Hexwaddle from them. Yeah, Clan Rictus is going to be over here on Ulthuan soon and help us out. whole bunch of vortex is going on right now okay so ooh. Uh, I guess I'll take the money I don't really need the jars so much okay okay well what was that times. oh dude what are you doing just sitting over here doing nothing totally forgot about this guy <laughs> oops uh, anyway so now he's got the little checkbox we won't forget about him anymore uh, let's see <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, so when we come back, we're going to keep building these settlements up. We'll keep assaulting units over here. We've got some money. So what we should do over here is build some of our advanced uh, military buildings so we can get some more War Sphinx or heavy units. And then we'll want to recruit those way down here. I think that will help us with uh, you know what we got left in Teclis's neck of the woods. The court of Labaris or Queen High Queen Kalita. I am a queen. I mean, man, she just likes us and likes us and likes us, and she's at war with people that we need to wipe out eventually for a domination victory. So I don't know. You know, we may end up at war with her in some form of alliance with her. Uh, with these armies here, we're gonna keep coming this way so that we can take out Teclas over here at Chakwa, and then. It'll be slow moving, but when we get our replenishment up, where is he? Katep might be able to push through the Unicorn Gate. Got a pretty big garrison here, but I think we can uh, whittle it away. We got a lot of um, heavy artillery and stuff. And that's all going to happen when we come back. 
in the next episode. Let me know if you're enjoying this one with comments or thumbs up. I'm enjoying it. It's um, definitely a little bit like smoother going than some of my other campaigns that I'm playing. That's for sure. Uh, anyway, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Check out some of the other stuff on the channel. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good afternoon and take care.